Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have the Collective with 1,113 rating versus Flaming Ice with 1,800 rating. So it's going to be another high rated DB video, and hopping right in, we will see the Collective win the Rock Paper Scissors shoot, and they will decide to go first 45 versus 41 opening hands. We got Dark Ruler, Cyber Emergency, Alpha Barrier, and Radiance. They have Oak, Wanted, Droplet, Flame Burge, and Island. Okay, so we're playing Voiceless Voice Drytron. We also won the Rock Paper Scissors shoot, which is good. Uh, we had Dark Ruler if we didn't, but we have Alpha plus Zeta, so we're going to go ahead, Alpha, Tribute Zeta, Special Summon Out, go search, grab out Ben 10, you know, Zeta, Tribute Ben 10, Special Summon Out, go search out the Drawtron Ritual spell, and then we have Ben 10 effect to go search. Oh, is this how the engines collide? You get to search. Ah, okay. So we're going to go ahead and search out a low there. Sure, sure, sure. I was I was originally thinking Diviner, but it makes a lot more sense that it's low. Because you can't tribute Diviner and special low from deck because of how these cards work. Yeah, okay. Which actually sucks a little bit. Uh, we're going to go Fafnir, go dump Gamma, activate Barrier, the Voiceless Voice to go search out Queen, and then Queen Effect. Discard, go dump the Ritual Spell, and then grab out the Skull Guardian. Mm hmm I guess it's also cool that Zeta can grab this Ritual spell too. Uh, activate the Drytron Ritual spell, bring out Ben 10 by detaching from Fafnir. Ritual spell, add back, drop it by 1,000. Normal summon low, no low effect since we opened uh, the trap already. We might only play one barrier, one trap. Uh, and then activate the Queen. So tribute Ben 10, and we detach, wait. Wait, 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 I gotta read over this real quick. When you ritual somebody to attach, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, that does work. Yeah, that does work, sure. So, a level 1 and a level 6, go ahead, bring out Skull Guardian. And then, new chain link. We're gonna go Ben 10 Skull Guardian. See, they're, they're throwing up the thing too, because they gotta read over that also. I mean, it's not a normal interaction. Uh, go grab low, go grab Ben 10. It's like, a, it's like a fair enough read. It's a fair enough read. Ben 10, Tribute, or, you know, Gamma Effect, Tribute, Ben 10, Special, Special, and then Ben 10 goes Search, grab out a Orange Light, which is live with the low in the hand. Uh, yeah, they know three of the cards in the hand right now. Okay. And then next, we're going to go Overlay into the Fuko. Fuko Detach. And then we're going to overlay those into F-Zero and then Draco. Okay, sure. Make Radiance, end of main, pass. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I did not expect this end board. But we have Skull Guardian negate, F-Zero negate and steal, Radiance pop, Orange Light. Now, this isn't the greatest end board ever i'm not gonna lie maybe we should have like focused a little bit more on the drytron part of the end board um but they're gonna go activate wanted chain droplets i feel like drytron has a better end board than voiceless voice but voiceless voice still ends on a good end board um so they're gonna drop with to try to shut down skull guardian and f-zero there and then yep 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 go ahead wanted search out black witch and then from here, we're going to go main phase, activate island, and then island effect. We're going to go chain radiance to pop the island. Yeah, so we don't want them to have a fire king in hand, otherwise we could get pretty hurt there. But let's think about it, right? They go island, destroy a fire king, right? Like, let's say they destroy, I don't know, Arvata. Best case scenario for them, pretty much. Well, not best case scenario, but... Actually, that is pretty good. Okay, so just whatever. Destroy our Vata, search Garunix, Garunix effect, special out, Garunix effect, orange light, negate Garunix, right? Now they have Black Witch plus Oak. And now they go discard the card in their hand, special Black Witch, Black Witch effect, go set. And now you can go trap pop Black Witch, and they have original stuff that they can't use. The punish is if they have a good normal summon that they bring out before they Black Witch. But it also depends what it would be. I guess, like, Snake Eye Ash would, like, really punish you there. Um, but, yeah, I guess... I guess either way... Oh, okay, are we gonna orange light this? We probably do it just because they have Wanted in Graveyard. Yeah, otherwise, if they didn't have Wanted in Graveyard, we'd let this go and then just orange light the Snake Eye Ash. Uh, which actually would lead us to getting punished by Oak. Uh, but right there, it's just game. Yeah, going on to the next game now... 
we will go ahead and see the Fire King Snake Eye deck go first. Opening hands, we have Pot of Prosperity, Droplet, Phantasmate, Rust, Skull Guardian. They have Oak, Poplar, Black Witch, Snake Eye, Ash, and Ponix. So, I mean, we have a few going second cards in our hand here. Uh, normal Summon out Snake Eye, Ash, Snake Eye, Ash effect. We'll grab out Poplar, and then activate Poplar effect. Summon out. Also sucks that they drew Oak, Ponix, and like no non-engine. Uh, then they're gonna go activate Poplar, go search out the original, now link off in the Link Karibo, Poplar, spell trap zone itself, Snake Eye Ashen, Selfless Link Karibo, bring out Oak for me and Oak effects, so then back out Snake Eye Ash, Oak Sun itself plus Poplar, bring out Flame Burge, okay, so, sure, yeah, definitely doing this combo differently, uh, maybe they're playing Doolittle, and that's why they're doing it like this, where they don't want to use Link Karibo uh, multiple times. Oh, we're going to spell Trap Zone Oak and then original send it now. Okay, so we don't go like Sunlight Wolf, bring back two bodies, make Apo, and then original. Okay, so Ponix in the Sanctuary Island, Island destroy Ponix, go grab out Garunix. And then Garunix effect, special itself out. Garunix effect, go destroy the Arvata, Arvata effect, bring back out Ponix, yeah, and then link off into a Princess, Princess effect, uh, they're thinking on summon, yeah, they're gonna activate a Phantasme there, draw into Cyber Emergency, Benton, and then go put back, yep, yeah, put back Skull Guardian, Princess, and then out the Arvata there, and then link off in the Sunlight Wolf. Now Flame Burge effect. Summon out the Poplar Snake Eye Ash. Sunlight Wolf effect to add back the Flame Burge. And then tribute that for Link Karibo. Now go up in the Heat Soul. Heat Soul effect. Pay a thousand. And then go draw Snake Eye Ash. Yeah, if they did the normal combo, you don't go through Link Karibo first because you need it for Heat Soul. And then you need it to tribute Ponix. So you need it two times later on. Well, obviously they didn't do that combo. Now summon out Black Witch, Sun Sanctuary, effect was that wanted, then make a IP. Yep. And then past turn, they draw Sir Arvis. Wow, so they have Phantasma for a little bit of protection. They have Sir Arvis for a little bit of protection. Uh, so they're going to activate Heat Soul there, pay a thousand, and then draw into a Ghost Bell. Alright, now activate Cyber Emergency, search out Zeta. And then, now we have Zeta Tribute Benton. Okay, now we're going to go Droplet Tribute, Z or send the Zeta and Phantasma to shut down the IP, IP plus the Arvata. Uh, so they're thinking in response to that, they want to... Actually, yeah, in response, they probably Chain Wanted, Chain IP, make Appalooza. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, because Droplet has to negate two. No, they actually had to go through. Okay. I guess that's fine, right? Because actually, if we go for the Appalooza, then they have Princess. That won't be live. If they play Whale, they could have made that there. But okay, that's going to go ahead and shut down. And then Tribute the Ben 10 for Zeta. Special Summon out. Go grab out the Drytron Ritual spell. And then Ben 10 effect to go search. They're going to chain Princess onto Zeta. And the Arvata, they Sir Arva shut that down. And then, yeah, now Ben 10's going to go search out low, which is also a level 1 that we could overlay with. Normal summon low, low effect, bring out barrier, barrier effect, go grab out queen. And then queen effect, they do have bell, so they're going to bell shut that down. Alright, activate the rust, go search out talents. And then activate talents to look at hand. Hits back Snake Eye and Ash. Yeah, just checking for hand traps. I was going to say, I doubt they draw with this just because we have Pot of Prosperity in hand. Uh, we don't want that card to, you know, not be live. Overlay, make Fafnir. Fafnir effect go dump. Dump Alpha, Ritual Spell, Detach Zeta, Summon out Ben 10. And then now we can go Tribute Ben 10. Special Summon out Alpha. And then... Yeah, also, the Ritual Spell, since it has to tribute machines, we won't be able to tribute low from underneath Fafnir, since it's a fairy, just to point that out. Uh, so we're going to go search out Skull Guardian, Ben 10, go search out Ben 10. Yep, and now we have Ritual Spell, add back, drop the Alpha down a 1,000, activate Queen, tribute Ben 10 plus low, bring out Skull Guardian. Yeah, just because we want to tribute Ben 10, I was going to say, we don't even have to, because we have that. 
Um, wait. Would that even work? I actually don't know. You can attach one. Because, like, huh. Yeah, I actually don't know how the low underneath the Fafnir interaction works exactly to bring this out. Would you be able to just attach this? But either way, they're going to go ahead and attach both of those and then activate Skull Guardian and Ben 10 effect. So, so many weird interactions in this, but I like it. I like it. Um, so, we're going to go search Natasha. They said, sorry, just activating the Ben 10 effect. They don't have a target for Skull Guardian. They cited out the other low. Now, activate Ritual Spell, bring out Natasha, and then Natasha, target the Fafnir. Shouldn't we have targeted Skull Guardian? Because, like, Skull Guardian just has the most attack. And this does e this also doesn't do original attack. So, we could target Skull Guardian and gain 2050 since it's at 41 right now. Uh, but now we're going to link off, make a IP, and then activate Natasha. Go ahead, uh, take the Arvata, summon out Natasha, Natasha, target, and then go ahead, gain 2050. Now make Boral Sword, Natasha, go take Heat Soul Special Summon out. And then I was going to say, yeah, then we can Heat Soul Effect, pay a thousand to draw if we want. But I guess, like, that makes Pot of Prosperity not live, but that's fine. Because uh, we're just winning there. I guess you attack and then you find out. Uh, we have Natasha, you know, gain 2050 again there too. Yeah, they go ahead and admit defeat. Wow. Okay, so technically this was summoned in the wrong column because we should have summoned it one over so that way we can take Heat Soul and put it underneath the Boral Sword. So that way this is gaining 500, but it didn't matter there. Um, that's just going to be game. Wow. Okay. So, I mean, God, Natasha is so broken going second. Uh, but okay, so we see the Voiceless Voice Drytron end up beating the Fire King Snake Eye deck. This deck does have some cool interactions, I'm not gonna lie. I kinda like that, I kinda like that. I don't think, I don't think it's like better than a pure Voiceless Voice deck, and I don't know if it's better than a pure Drytron deck, but it does have cool interactions, uh, that I wasn't even like thinking of before. Um, but the match was 25 minutes long, and with all that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace, have a nice day, stay safe.